Hi everyone, so welcome to our reading. This reading, guys, is about divine timing. So will you meet this person in the next yeah um month? Will you meet your one in the next yeah in this year? Okay, this is our reading. <laughs> Very interesting reading. So I welcome everyone here on my channel. Please subscribe, please ring the bell. And I will choose signifiers right now. The signifiers are from the Pro Tabia deck. So just choose the image you're drawn to. So what is the first signifier? So we have four piles. <clears throat> so this card is, wow, this is our pile four. I'm going backwards today. <clears throat> this is our pile three. So please look at the image and then choose the one you're drawn to. Pile two, please. This is pile two. <clears throat> Hope you can see the cards. Yes. Very good. And then we have our pile one for today. That's this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is our pet one. So, will me will you meet your one this year? That's what we're going to look into, guys, and I see you at the piles. The timestamps are as always in the description box. See you. So, pet one, welcome to your reading. You chose this beautiful card. This is for me the happy family card, the one for you. I mean, this is your future spouse. I, will, I see that here, you know, if you look at this card, this is home. This person is the one you're going to marry. Okay, so this is what I can tell you from the cards that came out. So first of all, let's look in the in-between tarot. And I also want to get other cards. So will pile one, this pile, meet the one, give me one card. I will also get three cards from the clear story cards. Will by one meet That's how you're gonna meet. Okay. So and now I wanna get a timing. Let's see what this card says. Will they meet in and give us timing clues or <clears throat> month, you know? And one more card here from this pile, okay. And then we have one card from this pile. What is the universe saying to this? Will they meet their future, like their one in 2021? We'll have one meet the one. So I'm taking just one card. So let me rearrange the cards. So first of all, I'm looking at <clears throat> these cards here. This is your one. This is how you're going to meet. And this is what the universe has to say. So let's see. First of all, this card came out and we have the Page of Swords. Oh, wow. That's the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Um, communication is coming. Yeah, I'm seeing here the birds. This card is all about communication and coming forward with the truth, telling the truth telling yeah that's basically the card for telling the truth yeah i see an air sign gemini libra aquarius that could apply to you or to your person mm, i'm seeing that they are foreign 
you know, I'm, I'm just saying everything what I'm seeing. And you already know who this is, okay? Because you're checking them out. The Page of Swords tells me that you know who the one is you're going to marry. <laughs> so what is the universe saying if you're going to meet this year? It says maybe. Okay. So the universe is quite not telling, you know, not really telling. So let's see what this is. It means good vibration. So we have excess. Wow. And ghosting. That's interesting. So we have obsession, ghosting, and good vibration. Interesting. Yeah, what I'm feeling here is that you will meet on a vacation, guys. And I told you, they are from far away. You guys live in different countries, yeah? So much can I see. Um, we have the United States here, but I'm seeing a country with... Um, you see here green land and mountains but this could be any other country too um, we also have the ocean so i see that you will meet at the ocean during a vacation yeah that's what i'm seeing and you will be on i mean it says good vibration you will have a good time you know and we have excess here i feel you will really really much um yeah like <laughs> <laughs> you know get each other there's a lot of passion and excess means um <clears throat> it's almost like an obsession like you cannot um in this time when you will meet I, I see this will be a vacation you you cannot um how do you say it's like you're really into each other you know there could be parties excesses drinking too much you know um, it's like you're, you're really enjoying your time together, but to almost to an excess because it's like crazy. You guys, um, you know, this for me screams like that you meet each other, you ultimately get along and, you know, this is like too much for your person. That's why this disappearance is. Um, I'm feeling here even... You know what I'm seeing is like um, you meet and you instantly get along and you um, it's like after this vacation is over you guys go to different countries again and it's like your person has a very busy schedule I'm feeling here yeah and that's why and it's hard for them to handle this situation because they never felt something like that before yeah. I'm feeling even here with the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords, it's it's very intense. Um, swords is all about communication. So you also have a very, very good communication. And I think you already know who this person is. I also see that you instantly know. Like when you see this person, you know this is your one. Um, and you will be like, you know, you will have such a good time that they can't handle this. And that's why this ghosting card, it's not that they ghost you. It's like both of you go into their separate lives again. You have separation again after you meet. Yeah. And it almost feels like ghosting, like boom, you know, because you were like almost to an excess together in that one or two week period. I'm seeing here in that um, other country. Let's see what the cards here say. So one card says here, definitely... Okay, and then it says, when roses are in full bloom. Well, that's summer, but that's not definitely in this year. So that's interesting. So what I'm feeling is, you know, it could be winter for you here. Like, you know, I'm from Germany. So in Germany, winter is coming. Yeah, but if I would go, let's say to Hawaii, there would still be summer, you know, it would still be warm, roses would still blooming, okay? So this tells me that the location where you meet, there will be um, summer, yeah? There is, there is the roses blooming, there is summer, there is, I mean, we see that here. You will meet in the warmth, yeah? And this definitely, well, I mean, we have definitely and maybe. 
So that's like the universe choking with you, okay? <laughs> so I think this is because, you know, um, this is a general reading. So there are many of you, yeah? This could apply that for some of you, there's a maybe, but maybe next year or when the roses are fully blooming. And for some of you, it's, you know, you live in a, in a winter country where, in the, you know, right now in the winter, it's getting colder, but maybe you go into a vacation, maybe in December to a warm country and that's where you guys meet. Yeah. But you meet in the countryside at the beach when the weather is warm. Yeah. And this is your future spouse. And it says definitely you will meet this year. So I think for a lot of you, maybe 70%, you will meet this year. Yeah, you will meet this year. That's absolutely gorgeous. I love this. <laughs> okay, guys, that's all what I'm having. I hope you like this reading. Please give it a thumbs up and I see you. Bye. Hello, number two. You chose this gorgeous card. We have a woman here sitting on a bench and I see that um you're desperately waiting for this person you know who this is this is your dream coming true um yeah you're definitely waiting for them so let's see what the universe is saying will you meet this person give me cards will pal two meet their person in their one okay This is with a story card, how you're going to meet. So we're going to see. How is pal two meeting their one? So then let's see what the universe is saying. Will pile to meet their one. You definitely know who this is because you're keeping space for this person. <clears throat> too many cards universe what are you saying here okay I'm taking this card so now we get um, a timing like a day or when is this happening and we also get a card from the yes or no maybe we get a definite answer pack two please I'm taking this card so let's see guys I hope you can see all the cards very good yes so we have the nine of swords and the ten of swords This is interesting. Mm. That's for me anxiousness and giving up. This is for me like, you know, this is the moment when because you're, you know, you're waiting for a long time, you're waiting, you're keeping space for your person. And this is letting go. Yeah, this is letting go being anxious that it's not going to happen that death is coming and letting go because of this. So this will be at a time and this goes very fast then. Yeah, it will be at a time when you almost lost hope that this person will ever come into your life. This is what I'm seeing. You're on the verge of giving up waiting for them. Okay. So what is the universe saying? Okay. It says you should do the initiative. Like you should, um, you are the one that needs to, um, speak up you are the one that needs to um do the first move okay so let's see how are you going to meet we have the move okay we have revol frivolity frivolity <clears throat> and we have sorrow yeah i mean Okay, what I'm seeing is that you will meet this person when you go out in the evening. 
Yeah, you will see this person at a date, but you have to make the first move, meaning we also have move here and here you should take the first step. Okay, so this means not about waiting around. And you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing here that you're moving to somewhere else. I mean, there's a move involved where you, you know, you go to another country or you're moving somewhere. Yeah, very crazy. So you're moving somewhere different, like in another town, maybe because of a job. And you're on the verge of giving up because you waited for this person for, for a long time. And you are afraid that it never, it will never happen because this is your crush. And then, um, you know, for me, I'd see it this way. Yeah, you're, you will be single, but you're not enjoying it. You know, we have sorrow card here. You're waiting for communication. You know, you look at pictures, um, you're thinking, why am I alone? Why do I don't have no one? Why am I waiting for this person? You know, I'm seeing you writing letters and then um, destroying the letters. And there will be one day, you know, where you will give this up. Where you say, well, this is never going to happen. Now I go out and now I have fun. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying my single life. Yeah. And that's when you will meet this person. You will move to another location. I'm strongly seeing that it's not at the like, location where you are. The move is the first initiative. And when you are there, you don't want to wait around anymore, you know, and you almost give up waiting for this person. And that's when, you know, this will happen. So let's see what the, what the dates say. It says, not if you are alone. Yeah, like this, you know, you won't meet this person if you are alone and um, you're sitting in your room, like there's no one coming and, and um, you know, ringing at your door. It will be when you go out with friends, yeah? You will go out in the public and you need to do this initiation and this, in, you know, this um, action. This is taking action, but the action has to come from your end, meaning, you know, you have to dress up, you have to go out with friends, but it's not when you are alone in your room. And what did I say? Time to let go. See? It's when you're done. When you're letting go and when you go out and you say, well, enough is enough. And um, now I'm having fun. Yeah, I'm going out with my girlfriends. And that's when you will meet this person. But first you will move somewhere. Yeah, maybe where they live. Maybe you move there because of a job. Very interesting. Okay, so that's all what I'm having pile two. I hope you like this reading and I'm saying bye. Hello, pile three. Will you meet your one this year? So we have here the old couple. So I will see, like I see that you grow old with that person. It could also be that this is a childhood friend, you know, someone you know from the ch from childhood. So let's see. Will you meet your one in 2021? So first of all, I'm getting a card. Will pass we meet there in one? Okay, this is how you're going to meet. How will pile two meet their one? Uh, pile three, sorry. Pile three. How will they meet their one? This is what the universe has to say. Can you give me a card? this one I'm taking the first one that comes up so will pile three and then we also gonna take one of these cards that's yes or no will pile one the uh, pile three there's too many ones so so guys let's look at your cards 
what can we see from the cards? So first of all, we have the Ace of Cups. So that's a new love. That's a new love that's waiting for you. Very interesting. We have the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. Yeah. Interesting. It looks like as if you're doing something, you know, you're very concentrated on a task and that's when you meet this person. I feel you're, you're overlooking even them. Yeah. It's something that you're doing, part three, for the community. Um, I mean, she's fetching water. She's getting water for, you know, for the community, for her family. So I see you're doing something for your family, maybe getting groceries even. You know, you're doing something for um, taking care of your family. That's what I'm seeing. And this person is watching you and is standing there. And it's almost like um, an encounter. On an encounter on a daily basis that you're having. And yeah, it's love at first sight. I'm feeling it's love at first sight. So guys, let's see what's happening. <clears throat> so we have lies. We have acceptance. And we have time out. Wow. Okay, so um, this is interesting either because those are two different things. Um, either this is someone from your past that you already know, someone from your childhood. Maybe you had, um, you were together in when you were teens and um, because of lies, you had a timeout with that person. You accepted it and you're moving on. Yeah. The other thing could be that you were just in a relationship with someone else. Yeah. But the moment you meet this person on a daily basis, when you were getting something from your family, I feel <clears throat> it will be the moment that you're taking a time out with another person and you just accepted the situation as it is. So it almost feels like, you know, from one stage to another. You just ended a relationship and a new one is beginning. That's what I'm strongly feeling. Because we have the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups here. There is a new love and an old love. Yes, this is between stages, guys. And you will run into this person on a daily basis when you will do something for your family. Okay. It says, um, take it slow. Yeah. And that makes sense. Yeah. Take it slow because you just got out of a relationship when you meet your one you just got out of a relationship and maybe that's what we see here you know you just got out an old relationship and there's a new one coming you know that's what it means <laughs> yeah so interesting how universe is um you know disguising this so let's see well don't happen? overdo it so take it slow don't overdo it and then we have Time to move forward with your life. Um, I'm thinking it will be, well, you know when this happens. Because if you are in this relationship right now, I see that you are, you know, you're quitting a relationship because of lies. Um, maybe spring next year. It looks like spring or it is now. Because the apples here and here it's, well, it could be, yeah, it could be now. It could be now. So yeah, it could be now, guys. Yeah, Spirit is saying, um, don't overdo it. Take it slowly because this is a new relationship coming in. Out of nowhere, you meet this person. Part three. And maybe you're still in this connection right now when you watch this, but I don't think so. I think you are in this timeout right now and you just finished or you just, um, you know, maybe you have not accepted the separation from your other person but i'm feeling this is now yeah you just ended or you just have had this breakup and when you accept this the moment you accept this you will meet this person and i think it's this year because it says don't overdo it and take it slow so it will come in very fast i'm feeling Maybe a month from now. The freshness is coming in here between September, October, November. Okay? So yes, definitely pile three. So that's all what I'm having. I hope you like it. Bye. 
Hello, part four shows this beautiful reaching for the stars. So I'm feeling you have someone in mind or you're not even interested in love yet and you're reaching for other stars. You know, you're concentrated on something else, maybe on your career. So we'll see what that means. But you're reaching for the stars. So and I'm, I mean, if you're watching tarot readings, you're probably interested in a significant other. So it could be that you're you're having a crush right now, someone that is of a higher status as you are. Okay, so will Pie 4 meet their one the card? So let's see what's coming through. Will Pie 4 meet their one? And we have a card here. So this is the story how you will meet your person. How you will meet your person, Pie 4. How will Pie 4 meet their person? Pie 4. So there you go. Now we're getting advice from the universe. What is the universe saying? Will you meet your one in this year? This card is coming through. And then we're getting some more advice. Part four, please. Will they meet this year? Give me some card. This one wants to come out. And I also want to get one more card. This is the yes and no question oracle. Part four, please. So let's see what the cards are saying, Pal 4. Let's see. <clears throat> so we have the Six of Swords. Well, it's interesting that it's all mind cards and like almost all the cards. You're hiding. We have the Six of Swords and the Seven of Swords. You're avoiding. Look at how here everyone, I feel here you're avoiding right now big groups, settings, you know, uh, going out at night. I feel you're avoiding the nightlife. Um, I mean, we have the night here. You just moved on from a situation that was not really um, nice. So I'm feeling you're more... Well, it is a situation where you're hiding <laughs> from your friends, you know? I don't know. This person is not wanting to go out or wanting to be found. If you see this, this person is hiding from the group setting. So maybe people try to get you to get go out with them because here it's night, but you're not wanting to go. Yeah, I see here you're reaching for the stars. You're doing something different. You're concentrated on yourself. Um, you're working maybe on a project that is very um, important for your future or you're doing something with stars at night you know maybe you're watching um, YouTube all night long <laughs> but you're avoiding your friends you don't want to go out with them this is the moment when you will meet this person so let's see what else is coming through we have narcissism you don't have to take narcissism as a, um, you know, this card is called, called like this, but this is like focusing on yourself. And we see this here with the stars. It says false promises and pressure. That's interesting. Look at this. We have the, the mirror a lot. We have the mirror here and the mirror here. Oh, no, that's not a mirror. That's a clock. Hmm, that's very interesting. We have someone here. I feel this is this person. I feel because of narcissism, like that's why. Hmm. That's very, very interesting. What is this here? What I'm feeling is here that, you know, I feel you put an ultimatum, you gave an ultimatum to someone else. Like, you know, we have this pressure here, we have false promises and narcissism. 
I see a person here. Maybe you're also hiding from them. It could be that this person is in your friend circle and you you were dating this person or you were having like a, you know, friends with benefit situation. I'm feeling here you put pressure on this person, um, you know, because you wanted to know where you stand. And um, this person gave you false promises, you know. I feel here it was a very passionate, very hot connection. But um, yeah, because of narcissism, because they love themselves too much, you know, they, they just wanted a bit friends with benefit connection. So I'm feeling this is a situation where this is someone yet you know. Maybe this is someone from your friend circle. But I'm feeling this person you move on from this person with the six of swords and the seven of swords you know you ask this person whoever this is this is not the one but this is the moment when you meet your one yeah this is when you just move on from this person and maybe you are hiding from your friend circle because maybe you guys share the same friend circle and that's why you don't want to be seen there you know because you just separated from this person because you ask them well what is going on you know why are you not wanting something serious? And that's because they, you know, this person was too much focused on themselves and they were not interested. And that's why you reach for the stars, you know, because you want something else. You realize in that moment that this is not what you want. You want someone else, something else. So let's see. Or guys, this could be that this person just moved away. Oh, guys, this could also be, please apply the fit. It could also be that the person, the one you're meeting is hiding from their friend circle. You know, they don't want to because they share a friend circle with their ex and their ex was too narcissistic and put pressures on them. And because they realized, you know, this is not for them, they um, decided to go separate ways. And you are, you know, you're just doing your own thing. And that's when you meet. I feel you meet this person when you're hiding. <laughs> Maybe both of you are hiding from your friend circle. <laughs> so let's see what this is. Um, oh, it says, of, of course you will meet this person this year. It says, this chance you cannot let go. Okay. So... Yeah, it could be that one of you is moving on from a situation that was, you know, not good for them, basically. So this is either you or them. You're moving on. You're not meeting up with your friends. It's like you're doing your own thing at night here. Maybe you're reaching for the stars. Maybe you meet them online. Yeah. But I'm seeing here both of you are away from your friend circles. Both of you are single and both of you meet up. What it says, unquestionably, yes, you will meet this person this year. I mean, unquestionably, this is saying me, yes, this is how it's saying more patience is needed. So I feel this is will, will be at the end. And also don't put pressure on this person. Yeah, this could also mean that once you meet them, um, yeah, maybe you even meet them at some kind of you know what I also think, guys, is that um, you could meet them on some kind of adventure that your friends planned for you, but you're hiding out because you don't want to go. But then, you know, <laughs> maybe it's a wish. Maybe it's a wish of um, of a friend. You know, this is what's also coming through. So please bear with me what it could also be is that a friend of you has a wish that they want to make come true and because they're very you know very much into themselves they want to make this dream come true for them and they ask you to come with them and you're hiding out because you're not, you don't want to go <laughs> maybe it's something what you don't like like very something very adventurous you know and you meet this person there and we see here more patience and don't put pressure on this person like let let it slowly uh, begin 
this journey because maybe they just um you know just broke up with someone else but it tells me don't put pressure on this connection yeah so this is what i'm seeing guys and yes you will meet your one in and um that's what i'm having okay bye guys